In this video, we're going to be determining whether the following pairs of vectors are perpendicular or not. And we can do this very easily by just looking at the scalar product. If the scalar product gives us zero, they are perpendicular. If the scalar product is non-zero, they're not perpendicular. So for A, uh, all I need to do is do 2 times minus 3 plus 1 times 5. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, plus 5 is minus 1, which is not equal to 0. So these are not perpendicular. So therefore, not perpendicular. OK, so that's A. Right, B. We've got 3i take away 8j and 8i plus 3j. So we need to do 3 times 8 plus minus 8 times 3. And so we get 8, 16, 24 take away 24 equals 0. Therefore, they are perpendicular. OK, scalar product 0, so they are perpendicular. OK, now we're going to uh, 3D vectors. So for C, we've got 2 times 0 plus 0 times 5 plus 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, they are perpendicular. OK, nice easy one, that one. Right, D... Uh, we've got 3 times 8 uh, take away, well, let's, let's just put it as plus negative 4 times 5 plus 2 times negative 2. OK, so we've got uh, 3 times 8, 8, 16, 24, take away 20, take away 4. And of course, that's going to be equal to 0. So therefore, they are perpendicular. OK, so that's, uh, that's D. And then finally, for E, we've got 8 times minus 10. We've got uh, plus minus 3 times 2 plus minus 1 times minus 25. So we have minus 80, take away 6, plus 25. Um, what have we got there? So minus uh, 86 plus 25. So minus 61, which of course is not 0. Therefore, they are not perpendicular. OK, so just finding the scalar product and determining whether it's zero or non-zero is all we need to do here.